Hello everyone, my name is Rumat and I'm not sure if you can hear me. Oh my god, sorry, sorry, coming. I haven't uploaded videos in a while and I've thought today it's time to, it's a good time to play Tliamid. And I'm right now in Diamond 2 at 50 LP. Uh, I've didn't, I didn't post any videos in the past uh, two or three weeks because I had to take a break. Uh, I've actually had school and such to finish the year happily and she's dead anyone no it's okay just ignite phone it's good and so I didn't have time to play at all and actually did one or two games on a low level account because I want to have uh, an Europe West account maybe maybe I'll start to play there sometime soon when I have time and such but today today I want to do a gameplay video and I want to talk a little about the changes that uh, about why I don't think Tlia is that good right now oh my god in the mid lane and if you want to play her I obviously recommend to play her in jungle because she's as you can see on op.gg she's in the op category there and you could do way more. Right now I'd play Xerat and Talon on mid or Vladimir, Zoe, uh, even Twisted Fate. Those are there are Twisted Fate and the Rolling Soul are better roamers than Tulia after they changed they changed her and her Q and uh, it's kinda annoying to not be able to poke as I was used to. And a lot of mains might agree that she isn't in the most beautiful state right now. I want to put oh he put a word there. I wanted to dip word, but it's okay. Now I don't know why I'm exactly against the Sona. Probably she's a main support and didn't want to troll her team by going the standard mid laner, but somehow it did troll your team by playing Sona. At least play Lulu, but they might win because they have Draven and and then Irelia. And if Draven gets absurdly fed, then we won't be able to do much. And I kind of suck at farming as well. Uh, need to pay a little attention to this. I don't want to. Okay. Now I could go for kills, but she plays obviously defensive, and she'll just try to probably be a heal bot for. Uh, our little friend Draven, which already has kills that I mean he doesn't know his support to the kill. And I also hate I don't know. I like this to Leon on Earth, but in this game she feels uh, not quite as much as I would expect in terms of good. In terms of bad, uh, oh well, at least our bot lane plays. Now, what I want to do this game is just to push mid and farm and go at 6 and out farm as much as I can because it seems that she doesn't really know how to farm. I think I've seen it a little... Ah, that was a really bad. I don't know exactly what they are doing on top lane, but from the looks of it, my side lanes are already doing great and all I have to do is actually to not die to a gank in order to win. Uh, obviously your goal as a Talia even after these changes is to actually camp the winning lane mostly as you would do on any other ro roaming champions. And I finally got her, Jesus. Okay, I'm dead. Okay, back, 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 back. Thank you. Uh, obviously here Nidalee didn't have flash because I would probably have died. Now as you can notice if the opponent is even half good now all you have to do is to stay besides minions behind them. Now most of the time you could get some poke done with your Qs because they dealt AoE damage. Now right now if you look on my server, for instance, on Europe Nordic and Insta, I'm actually the first player that suggested for Talia at the op.gg Talia Masters section because there are no master tier players or challengers who actually play her on a daily basis because she's weak and everyone 
at this ELO will tell you that she's weak. Forget the win rate in higher ELOs, there are very very few people who can actually play her because she's hard as fuck right now. Sorry for the language. And yeah. But still, maybe, I missed that cannon, maybe there is some players who make her work, but on this server I haven't actually met uh, much. Oh boy. Oh boy. Should I go? I go, I go, I go. Let's go. Oh yeah. This is what you have to actually do. If you want to succeed, but still. What? No. I'm, I'm out of mana. And I put this word here because I'm too lazy to check the bash. You shouldn't do that. Uh, yeah, I should have actually pushed the tower and dump. Truthfully, when I'm trying to make a video and talk over it, I am missing some thought processing, some words, some actions in the game. And also I really love the farm here. <laughs> because if I want to actually do something I need to be ahead. And right now it won't happen unless I actually get some kills. What is happening? Please don't keep diving behind you. And you died. And yeah, that's the current situation with Talia. There might be some times in which she'll get buffs. Probably for mid lane they should buff her. But I mean, actually this is also room for debate again here. There is room for debate because, because in pro play she is strong. This champion, as many others, there was a post on red. It's very hard to balance since... When players, good players, make uh, coordination, things will go in their favor. I mean, it's obviously way better to have to duo on Talia with someone in solo queue. That's what you should do. But having five persons that are in your being a five person team, it's the best, obviously, for her. So, yeah, maybe in flex, when you do with your team, when you play with your team, she has a good win rate. But in rest, I doubt that she's much. And this Atrox actually outplayed her. Please, 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 Worth. Really, really worth. And I should go to that needle. Ah, she failed. Now, obviously, I didn't choose to showcase this game. I actually feel pretty random about it. Ah, oh, don't, don't. I missed the cannon there, and I pissed about it. That's why I said don't. I should have just go for it. Uh, this is not the game I chose, it's just the first Talia game I play in, I don't know how many, how much days are there, okay. I'll just, I'll just stick around here trying to push her towards the side. Or not. Oh boy. That's one engage. Now that's the problem when you have two support players in the same team that even these ganks will be nullified when you don't have any CC that actually connects. And also, oh boy. Oh boy. Okay, but still, 
I find it way harder to be responsible for the win if you are not playing some other... Oh boy. Yeah, that, that was difficult. Look, play that champion in mid. Balanced, by the way. Like, look, just you have the perfect example here. Some 0-4 that is 40 CS behind with two nerfs that, the, as Tim says, just randomly comes there and instantly kills three people just because the champion is strong. You can't do that on Talia, you can't do that on most champions, but still, if there is a champion available that can do that, why wouldn't you pick it? I mean, why would you pick Talia, even though she's a roamer? There are better roamers than her, and still... Uh, I don't like, I don't really don't like the di direction of the changes with Talia Jungle, because... Uh, again, they made her weaker on mid, and it's still quite the same in pro play, as you can see. So they did not change to mid lane, besides weakening her Q, and... Basically, they nerf her, as I said before. They are nerfs. Now, in jungle, they don't really know how to work around that. I mean, that's obviously harder. But we're, we're not interested in jungle, and this was never a champion intended for jungle, so... Oh boy. And she suicided. <laughs> And Adrox also took that tower. <sighs> Look, if you really want to play a roaming champion, I guess Twisted Fate and Talon are the strong picks right now for roaming and such. If you want strong laners, then probably Aurelia is a good choice. And there are many good choices. There are a lot of good choices for strong laners. Uh, right now, I don't have a lot in mind, but... You could go, but you couldn't kill you. No, you can't. Actually, back, back. Hopefully this makes them see that a monster is coming. Now, obviously the build that you want to go for is the normal standard uh, Ludens, Rabadons and I go for Aerid and secondary bone plating and Chrysalis. I don't know why I went for bone painting this game, but I guess it's just to survive better ganks and the annoying poke that comes from her. But then again, uh, then again, this game isn't really a fair one since their mid lane is basically useless, which is no flame, as some might say. But you can just see the statistics for the game right now and. Yeah, this happens when you put a support on a mid roll. Actually, she should have dodged, but that's not my thing. I enjoy free wins. Now, hopefully, Aurelia won't carry them. Uh, anyhow, and anyway, if you do still want to play her mid, either you try to play extremely stupidly, obsessively aggressive and try to get kills or I don't honestly know there is no other way besides this uh, no, no point to go there and this is the long wait come on Nidalee come on where, where is she? she's literally supposed to come here. Okay, thank you. Bye fiddles. That was bound to happen. Oh boy. Kills are going on. Probably probably should have flashed. So yeah Besides having good side lanes and trying to help 
a lane win, you should actually try to play aggressive, stupidly aggressive, and try to get the kill now with the Q changes. Uh, if you can, I mean, if you're against assassins, then you have opportunities to get kills because they will go in and try to fight. But then again, assassins are probably stronger than you, and that's up to debate. And you cannot, you cannot make that. Oh come on, don't. Oh god, I hit that champion. And here you can see the fact that two supports without the funneling strat don't doesn't work at all. Now I did have a good decent score actually. I did a gank bot which further helped my team because they had I didn't give them kills. I mean my team, but still. And yeah, I probably would be mad at Sona too if I were in that team. And I don't know, unless you have strong CC, this Rela would actually would have carried now. We we're lucky here with Fiddlesticks actually because she can't do anything. But yeah, I don't know, that's about it. And I kinda expected a longer game, not a 16 minutes one. But yeah. I guess uh, this kinda tries to clear some misconceptions or some thoughts about Talia and I really hope you guys... Uh, why am I on OP.gg? Okay, ignore this. I really hope you guys like this and I don't know, you feel it's okay. So, thanks for watching guys and see you next time. Goodbye.